I'm Blair Chook. Uh, I raced 49er yachts. I raced in London 2012 Olympics last year. I wanted to be an all-black, uh, like most other Kiwi kids or boys, I guess. Uh, apart from that, maybe to be a pilot. So, uh, you know, it wasn't something I, you know, put much emphasis on. Really, it wasn't until a later stage when I got an opportunity to be an electrician and, and to get into sailing that I sort of chose those paths. Doing an electrical apprenticeship when I was younger was, you know, a great decision that I made, and I really thought it helped me to become a better sailor as well. So when you're sort of passionate about something, it's quite easy to, to do it. So uh, you know, now it's just a case of sort of help other people get into apprenticeships and realize you know, doing a trade is a good thing. And my electrical engineering started from me being in the right place at the right time, I guess. We had a sparky that came and worked on the boat for a couple of days and I kind of got interested in what he was doing and started my apprenticeship with him just on a casual basis. Once I sort of realized I enjoyed it, um, we approached the skills organisation to sign up to a proper agreement and get me into an apprenticeship. You know, they really helped to do the on-job training as well as making sure I'm doing the um, papers off, off job as well. And then I carried on working as a you know, full-time electrician and learning on the job. For me personally, with the around the world racing and stuff like that, I think that the electrical skills that I've learned uh, you know, can really help me with that. And uh, you know, if we're in the middle of the Southern Ocean and something goes wrong and you can't charge the batteries or something like that. If you have a Sparky on board, I'm really going to be able to help the guys out. There may be some of you that have aims to go to university, and that's great, do it. But for others, they don't have those same aspirations, and that's where the skills organisation can help. The best way to learn something is by doing it yourself. So when you're doing an apprenticeship, you're working, you're getting paid, but you're also learning at the same time. At the end of the day, if you can complete your apprenticeship and become qualified, it's really going to help you in the workforce and you know maybe put you ahead of someone that's, that's not qualified. So if you start, if you start doing it, I really urge you to carry on doing it and become, become qualified, get it finished and then you know it's going to really help your career.